स्पेशल रिपोर्ट फ्रॉम पंजाब खालिस्तानी ग्रुप वारिस पंजाब दे लीडर अमृतपाल सिंह क्लोज एड पपलप्रीत सिंह has been arrested from amritsar earlier today but the police still haven't got their hands on his chief amritpal singh he and his associates have been booked under several criminal cases related to the spreading of disharmony among classes attempt to murder attack on police personnel and creating obstructions in the lawful discharge of duty by public servants despite all these charges and despite the fir the radical preacher is still on the run he escaped the police net in jalandhar on the 18th of Mar- 18th of march switching vehicles and changing appearances mira now finds out that there was a second occasion when the fugitive had a narrow escape and that was on the 28th of march when police claim that he that they spotted him near bhagwara where police chased his innova vehicle but again he managed to dodge the cops but before we go to the second instance let's first recreate for you what happened in the first case the date was 18th of march location was shah court now let's take you straight there with the pictures to show you what exactly happened on that fateful day here it is are showing that first day on 18th of march when the punjab police was leading that operation amritpal this is the toll plaza where we have seen amritpal first he came from the other side and he cross this uh, toll plaza and within 5 uh, minutes he has come back so i request my vijay to show this uh, visual of this toll plaza we can see from this visual amrit pal is sitting uh, in this uh, breeza vehicle uh, when he was coming back from this toll plaza this is the road which we are showing at this point of time this is the fagwada uh, road leading toward sharpur uh, what we have learned uh, from our sources and from the punjab police also uh, this was the road which was being followed by amrit pal in an innova vehicle and that innova vehicle was being chased by punjab police official the moment amrit pal uh, reached here he turned uh, this vehicle towards this village manoraiya we will also go uh, towards that uh, last spot where what we have learned from the police sources uh, he left and he abandoned his innova vehicle and after that he was able to escape from that place So what Gurpreet is essentially telling us is that the fugitive actually passed through the same toll plaza twice. Video access by Mirror now shows that at 11:35 a.m. Amritpal's convoy passed through it to uh, pass through it for the first time and the second time within 10 minutes of it again went through a large presence of police without the cops getting a whiff of it. He managed to return the same route in another avatar within 10 minutes with no interception. whatsoever so we confronted cop santa singh who was deployed in a permanent naka at satluj who told us that they were not sounded by any cop so they gave a smooth way literally a free passage to amrit pal's convoy within 5 minutes distance of here is village bajwa kalan this is where amrit pal's convoy took a u turn under the flyover even at this spot he could have been intercepted if this area was cordoned off to prevent escape but no such effort was made we can see uh, that uh, uh, there is a uh, check post uh, so uh, sir ye jo police post hai permanent hai ye post permanent permanent hai to aapki duty hoti hai yahan pe ha ji ha to uh, 18 march ko jab amrit pal yahan se gaya to kya yahan pe log the sir ye ji तो क्या यहाँ पे रोकने की कोशिश नहीं की क्योंकि यहाँ से अगर बात करें तो टोल प्लाजा से सानू पता ही नहीं सी इस बात का अच्छा तो जो लंघ गया सू पहला पता नहीं है इस रोकेगा तो क्या अलर्ट नहीं किया गया फोर्स के द्वारा जो पीछे फोर्स लगातार तो चीज की थी पहले नहीं अलर्ट किए लेकिन ये जो नाका है ये जो पोस्ट है परमानेंट है यहाँ पे This is what Gurpreet is pointing out that those are spots where ideally there should have been cops deployed to cordon off vehicles to check vehicles that was not the case you heard the cop who also said that we were never alerted about it in another village few meters away in nagal ambyan amritpal changed his vehicle and embarked on a motorbike there is clear cctv footage of this episode which is in public domain if police was indeed in hot pursuit why did they miss meeting him here also after nagal ambyan village where amritpal changed from car to bike he reached mehatpur where he got his bike repaired here again was an opportunity to nab him but yet again it was a miss 
So after this, police claim that he entered Ludhiana and then entered Shabad and route Uttarakhand. Police alerted authorities in Nepal as well, but Amritpal could not be traced. So now let's talk about 28th of March, the second instance that police claim Amritpal was spotted near Pagwara in Hoshiarpur district. Cops chased his vehicle from Pagwara to Mandrian village. It was a chase of around 30 kilometers, but again, cops came back empty-handed. And this uh, Fagwada road is moving toward Sharpur. I'll request my visitor to show this side of uh, this road. From here, what we have learned, uh, the counterintelligence police force, uh, uh, they started chasing Amrit Pal's vehicle. And from here till Manraya village, uh, the, they keep on chasing. The question is, why didn't they alert the other police official why that vehicle was not intercepted and how it was possible despite being chased by the Punjab police officials Amrit Pal along his close aid was able to escape from Manraya village. So later, a CCTV camera footage was procured from village Tanuli in a Gurudwara in which close aid of Amrit Pal, Papal Preet Singh, was lodged. It was just four kilometers away from Manriya village where, from where Amrit Pal escaped. Police claim that the search operations were carried on from 28th of March to the 31st of March. Papal Preet, of course, was arrested from Hoshiarpur today, 10 days later. But Amrit Pal continued to hoodwink the police. Gurdwara Saib in Tanoli of District of Sharpur, where we have seen Papal Preet, whose close aid of Amrit Pal's picture had been caught on the camera and that had uh, been recovered by Punjab police. So here on 29th March, what we have learned and what we have uh, seen from the sources also, they say this is a Gurdwara Saib where Papal Preet was seen when he was roaming inside. And these are the CCTV camera footage, uh, footage which the police had procured from here. So the question is why the police was not able to act immediately, swiftly, despite having all the technology with them. And the other question, if the search operation was being conducted by Punjab police in this area, why they did not scan all these areas?